Hey, it's me, Lisa. That's L I S A. Lisa. <laughs> and today we are carrying on with our Advent calendar princess stories. And so far, I have read 19 stories. Wow, that's a lot of fun. And you can watch them all by subscribing. That's the big red button underneath this video. Now, let's see what story we're going to have today, which is going to be our 20th story, 20th of December. Uh -huh. Wow. Can you please help me find the number 20? Thank you. Okay, so we are looking for a 2 and a 0. 20. No. No. Shout out if you see it. There it is, number 20. Baby, let's get it out. Wow. Pocahontas? How cool. I love Pocahontas. Now let's begin. On a London dock, settlers seeking freedom and riches prepared to board a ship bound for a new land. John Smith stood alone on the deck, eager for his next adventure. John Ratcliffe, the greedy governor of the new settlement, strode on board. <laughs> the journey was treacherous and lasted many months, but Ratcliffe reminded the crew of the new lives waiting for them. Don't lose heart, man, he told them. Remember what awaits us there. Freedom, prosperity, and adventures of our lives. Have a look at the pictures. So he here is the greedy governor, and then here is John Smith. Whoa, there's a man overboard. Let's see what happens. Far across the sea, Native American warriors, led by Chief Powhatan, had returned from a battle. The chief searched the gathered tribe for his beloved daughter, Pocahontas. But as usual, she was out exploring with her friends, Miko, the raccoon, and Flit, the hummingbird. Pocahontas wanted advice about a dream she'd had and went to see Grandmother Willow, a wise old tree who lived in the enchanted glade. Wow! I'm running through the woods and then right in front of me is an arrow. It spins faster and faster and faster until suddenly it stops, she said. Grandmother Willow thought the dream was trying to tell Pocahontas which path in life to take. Have a look at the pictures. So here is Pocahontas' family and tribe returning from a battle. And then here is Pocahontas exploring and her adventures with her animal friends. And this is the willow tree, Grandma Willow. Now let's see what happens next. What path does Pocahontas take in life? Pocahontas felt a breeze and climbed high into Grandmother Willow's branches, listening to what the wind might be telling her. Looking out over the treetops, she saw white clouds billowing in the distance. It was a ship! Wow! The ship came in even before the anchor had dropped. Smith leapt ashore. He climbed a tree to view the magnificent new land and saw Pocahontas. Their eyes met for a fleeting moment before the young woman darted away into the forest. Have a look. So here is Pocahontas climbing up and she sees the ship. And then here she sees the ship again but then runs away because she saw a man she does not know. Well, that's a very good thing to do because he's a stranger. And we don't know strangers so we should be always very careful with strangers and find our parents or not leave them in the first place. Chief Powhatan wanted to know what the ship's arrival meant. The medicine man threw a handful of powder into the fire and the smoke revealed warriors whose weapons shot fire and thunder. The chief sent men to observe the newcomers. Let's hope they don't intend to stay. 
he told his tribe. A few hours later, one of the warriors returned to the village. He had been shot in the leg by one of the intruders. Chief Powhatan was enraged. We must defend ourselves, he declared. Gather warriors from every village. These men are dangerous. Have a look at the photos. Here we are. So here is the fire telling them that there's warriors coming. But then here is one of his men wounded in the leg. Wow, well, they are very right. They are intruders, aren't they? It is not their land. Meanwhile, Smith followed Pocahontas through the forest and caught up with her at the river. As he held out his hand, a light breeze swirled around them. Pocahontas remembered what Grandmother Willow had said. Listen with your heart and the spirits will guide you. Pocahontas and Smith talked and began to get to know each other. Smith told her about London, while Pocahontas showed him around the new land. Suddenly, drum beats echoed through the forest. Pocahontas raced off to find out what was going on. Have a look at the pictures. So here is Pocahontas meeting John Smith, and here they are. Wow, so let's see what happens. Later, Pocahontas was gathering corn when Smith emerged from the forest and took her by the hand. Pocahontas asked her concerned friend not to tell anyone where she was going. Well, that's not very good of Pocahontas. What about if something happens to her? Then nobody will know where she is. You must always tell your parents, your grown-up or your teacher where you are going. Smith told Pocahontas about the settler's search for gold. When Pocahontas told him she had never seen any, Smith realized his men would not find what they are looking for. Just then, Grandmother Willow revealed her face. Smith was startled by the enchanted tree, quickly reassured him, and soon they were speaking like old friends. Have a look. So here is Pocahontas actually being very naughty by going after somebody she doesn't really know far away and not telling you anybody and asking her friend to keep a secret. And then here is John Smith meeting Grandmother Willow for the first time. Now let's see what happens next. When she returned home, Pocahontas was alarmed to find warriors ready to battle. She begged her father to talk rather than fight, but he was certain the intruders did not want to talk. But if one of them did want to talk, you would listen to him, wouldn't you? She asked. Of course, but it's not that simple, said her father. Meanwhile, Smith arrived back at the settlement to find Ratcliffe preparing for war. Smith tried to explain the Native Americans were friendly and had no gold. But Ratcliffe wouldn't listen because remember he's greedy. Now have a look at the pictures. So here is Pocahontas pleading with her father. And then here is greedy Ratcliffe. Oh oh. Now let's see what happens next. That night. Pocahontas met Smith in the enchanted glade and asked him to speak with her father. Grandmother Willow dipped a branch into the water. The ripples, said Pocahontas, small at first, then look how they grow. <laughs> Smith understood and agreed to meet the chief. As Pocahontas and Smith embraced, a warrior from Pocahontas' village left at Smith with a dagger. A dagger is a knife. <laughs> Bang! A shot rang out. Smith's friend Thomas had shot the warrior. <laughs> Thomas watched from his hiding place as Smith was dragged away by other members of the tribe. Have a look. So here we are. Here is Pocahontas with Smith and then Smith is being attacked. Well, that's only because one of the tribe people thought that Pocahontas was being probably attacked. Now, let's see what happens next. The warriors condemned Smith to death. Horrified, Pocahontas protested, but the chief told his daughter she had shamed him. Pocahontas was heartbroken and went to see Smith. It would have been better if we'd never met, she said. 
Well, I understand that Pocahontas is feeling sad, but at least Smith is alive. The other person from her village was shot dead, and Pocahontas doesn't feel any empathy for that. No, no, there needs to be empathy on both sides. I'd rather die tomorrow than live a hundred years without knowing you, he told her. Filled with despair, Pocahontas sat with Grandmother Willow. Miko handed her Smith's compass. A compass tells you north, east, south, west. But when the arrows stopped, it was pointing towards the morning light. <coughs> it's not too late, child. Let the spirits of the earth guide you, said the enchanted tree. Have a look at the pictures. So here's Pocahontas feeling all very upset. But really, she needs to look at the bigger picture. Now let's see what happens next. At sunrise, the Native Americans and the armed settlers marched towards one another. Suddenly, Pocahontas threw herself on top of Smith. If you hurt him, you'll have to hurt me too, she cried. Look around you. This is where the path of hatred has brought us. This is the path I choose, Father. What will be yours? Wow! Actually, Pocahontas is not being very nice to her father. Her father did not invite the settlers. The settlers came to his land for greed. Chief Powhatan saw that Pocahontas spoke wisely. He ordered Smith to be released. Have a look at the pictures. Here we are. Here is Pocahontas begging and choosing a side with Smith. Somebody who she doesn't really know. Now let's see what happens next. The warriors lowered their weapons, but Ratcliffe ordered the settlers to fire. The settlers defied him and lowered their weapons, but the enraged governor grabbed a gun and fired. Smith jumped in front of Chief Powhatan and the bullet meant for the chief hit him instead. Disgraced, Ratcliffe was dragged back to the ship by his own men. The tribe took care of Smith, but Pocahontas knew he needed to return home to survive. You are always welcome among our people, Chief Pocahontas told Smith. Smith asked Pocahontas to go with him, but she knew her people needed her. She chose to stay. No matter what happens, I'll always be with you forever, she said. Wow. Have a look at the pictures over here. There we go. So here is Smith being injured. Now Smith turned out to be a good man. But Pocahontas should have spoken with her father. Pocahontas watched from the top of a cliff as the ship set sail. When she waved goodbye, she felt the wind swirl around her. The same wind carrying Smith away. The same wind that embraced them both. The end. Have a look at the picture. So here is the ship going away and Pocahontas swaving. Now, I really enjoyed this story and I like Pocahontas, but it's important to always talk with your parents and not keep secrets like that because they can lead to trouble just like it did right here. Now, I will see you in my next video, which will be the 21st story. And you can watch all my other videos before that on my channel. All you have to do is subscribe. That's the big red button underneath this video and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and Lisa, that's L-I-S-A. Lisa, we'll see you soon.